So it's the last day of the first weekend of the Call of Duty World War II beta. As you can see, I made it to level 25. I got the 1911. I have yet to try it, I don't think. The new basic training is almost exactly what I guessed it to be. Something to do with sprint, sprint again sooner, and no damage from falling. So that is something I can see myself using because in MW2, I use Commando Pro all the time, specifically because there's no fall damage. And the new gun, the WAF-28, I tried it in my first video at the default class or whatever. I don't see myself using it. To me, it looks like a worse version of the Type 100, even looking at the stats it looks like a worse version of the type 100 and this fighter pilot kill streak it's not the greatest kill streak but it's cool as fuck to go to a domination maybe i'll try to get it i highly doubt i'll be able to get it but you just open up this piece of paper and you like call it in like a regular airstrike in call of duty and then you get spawned in the airplane in the airstrike and as it's diving down you get to shoot and move around in the area that you selected it's really really cool but it's 11 30 p.m right now on sunday sunday night i just finished watching game of thrones the season seven finale at absolutely amazing there's one person on the other fucking team the reason why i'm recording this video right now is because we all know i'm not gonna be up in time to make a video on this game tomorrow it ends tomorrow at 1 p.m eastern time and i wake up like at fucking 5 p.m i still have absolutely no complaints about this game i have played this game probably more than i have played infinite warfare and i've only had a total of like three days to play this game and almost a year to play infinite warfare it's gonna be rough going back to mwr for a few days as of the 28th it comes back on the first i believe so about three days i don't know how the fuck we're gonna survive and then especially after the beta is completely gone after next weekend, I really have no idea how we're going to survive. Like the other Call of Duty's are extremely stale as it is, but after this is gone, oh my god, I don't even know. I don't even want to think about it. Like I still wouldn't mind grinding out MWR because I'm 19th prestige. I want to make it to 20th, but just on YouTube itself, it's just going to be extremely stale. So that's the reason why I'm doing this video now so I can upload it on the Monday when the beta is done. And I have a shit ton of gameplay. I'm going to play it all night too, maybe record it, but I have like 24 hours worth of gameplay from the live stream. And that war record that I was talking about the five minutes and 23 seconds or 27 seconds we absolutely obliterated it last night without even trying I don't have my point of view because I wasn't recording but my boy G1 shout out to G1 he actually had it recorded I guess from the PlayStation PBR or whatever I have no fucking idea how to use that shit whenever I try to use it it doesn't work so he had sent me the footage so I might actually do that as one of the videos for the three days of the beta is not available just let me know down below if you want as much World War II content as possible or if you're sick of it I can go back to MWR you know it's not a problem with me but if you are sick of this game then you got some fucking issues I don't know what's wrong with you I can play this game for the rest of my life I can watch this game for the rest of my life I don't care this game is beautiful it looks beautiful it plays beautiful it's it's beautiful to watch like I swear to god my first video I ever did on this my first game that uncut game the next morning I sat in my bed and I watched my own fucking video when the fuck do I ever watch my own videos I don't even want to watch them back when I'm editing them because I hate my videos but it was World War Two, so I just I sat there and I watch my own video that is how much I enjoy this game I really really hope when the full game comes out that it's exactly the same of this if not better I hope they don't fuck it up like they fucked up infinite warfare because I really enjoyed the infinite warfare beta for the sniping only the sniping was impeccable I mean in the full game they completely fucked it up sniping in this game you know it's not perfect the MWR sniping is 10 times better, 100 times better. I'm saying that because one, I'm not the greatest at sniping in this game. For some reason, it just feels a little bit off for me. I feel like there's no aim assist. I feel like shots like that should hit, but they don't hit for some reason. And again, I keep going through like the regular scope and the times four scope. I don't know what I like better, but most of the time when I shoot someone and I feel even when I'm hard scoping, I'm taking my time. I'm like five seconds scoped in on their skull and I shoot it doesn't fucking hit them. I feel like it should. I don't like this scope at all. It's fucking weird. If they put the scope that's on the times four scope on this, I'd be a little bit happier and maybe add a little bit more aim assist and a little bit less hit markers because I get way too many fucking hit markers with the thing. And I'm using FMJ. But even if they keep this game exactly the way it is, I will have no complaints at all. I am fine. Still hoping for a new map next weekend. I really hope they do it. I heard they're raising the level cap to 40. It's 25 right now. But they raise the level cap to 40. They'll probably add some more guns. Maybe a new sniper rifle. Maybe possibly allow us to level up the divisions to max level 5 and unlock the new sniper and all the new guns and shit. I highly doubt they're gonna do that. But at least put, you know, at least one more war map and one more, like, regular multiplayer map. Just to freshen it up for next weekend. Because I'm pretty sure they did that with Black Ops 3. I don't remember Infinite Warfare. I highly doubt they did it. Maybe they did. I have no idea. But for Black Ops 3, I know for a fact that they did that. And touching up a little bit on the fight yesterday, the boxing match, Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather. First of all, if you follow me on Twitter, you know I got triggered as fucking shit when they stopped that fight. I personally don't think they should have stopped the fight. Yes, I believe regardless if they stopped the fight there or not, McGregor still would have lost. It was a great fight, fantastic fight. I just completely disagree with them stopping the fight. And then people decided to go and argue with me on Twitter and trigger 
trigger me even more, saying that they stopped the fight for his safety, he was gonna get hurt, blah, 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 blah. I'm a, it's a fucking fight. You're going into a fight, you're gonna get hurt, obviously. McGregor's a motherfucking UFC fighter, all right? He's an MMA fighter. I'm pretty sure he's gone through worse than that. And he even said himself that they should have kept the fight going. He would have liked to see the, like, the end of the thing. I believe if they didn't stop the fight there, he would at least gotten through the round 10 and probably through the rest of the fight and lost by, like, unanimous decision or whatever the fuck they call that shit. I don't watch. I don't watch boxing. I don't watch UFC. I mean, I've seen shit. I've seen main events and everything, but I don't really watch it like most people watch it. Like, they're really into that shit. And there's probably gonna be a huge discussion about this in the comment section now, and while I'm reading, I'm gonna get triggered as fuck again. So there's that, and oh my god, the Game of Thrones episode tonight. Like, I don't want to say anything because I know some of you probably haven't watched it yet. Maybe? I don't know, but it was the season 7 finale. It was 80 minutes long. We probably have to wait. <laughs> two years for the next episode to come. It was rumored that it's gonna come in 2019, and the next season, season A, is only gonna have six episodes, and it's gonna be the last season, and it's rumored that every single episode in season eight is gonna be 80 minutes long. Every single episode in that season is gonna be the same as this episode. This episode was 80 minutes, and this was the longest episode a Game of Thrones has ever had. I wanna talk about how I feel about the episode, but then again, I don't wanna ruin it for people, so maybe somewhere down the road, I'll talk about it and how I feel about it. If you guys want, let me know down below. So at least there's some comments down there that won't trigger the fuck out of me. See, like, that shot, I felt like it should have hit. And again, right now, I'm playing very aggressively and everything, and quick scoping in this game, you can't play aggressively. I kind of like that, kind of don't like that. It's just something I gotta get used to. All I know is that for some reason, this weekend and this weekend only, including right now, it's been, like, 20 million times hotter in my fucking room for some reason. I mean, it could be a mixture of me being in the room and then playing this game at the same time, because this game is so fucking sexy and I'm, like, pretty sexy myself. Okay, like, <laughs> I don't even know why I'm gonna put that in the video, but what the fuck was that, dumbass? I don't know why. Sometimes, like, I just don't miss a fucking shot, but most of the time, that, that's what my shot looks like. Most of the time. But regardless, if I go 7 and 22 like I just did, or 22 and 7, for some reason, I just enjoy playing this game. Even if I do absolute trash. Like, yes, I'm angry that I did absolute trash, but I still enjoyed playing this game. I, I'm just so happy that it's back to boots on the ground, and it's back to, like, the original Call of Duty days. This game reminds me when I used to play World at War back in 2008, when I was a 13-year-old, 14-year-old little punk bitch. Again, I was probably this good back in 2008, going 7 and 22 every single fucking game saying, yes, I did so good, I almost got 10 kills. Back then, I shit you not, I didn't even know that you were able to change your sensitivity. When I figured out you were able to change your sensitivity was midway through MW2, and that's when I started becoming really, really good at Call of Duty, because how the fuck do you play Call of Duty on 2 sensitivity, 3 sensitivity, whatever the default is? And ever since I figured out how to change the sensitivity in the middle of MW2, I played on max sensitivity every single day, every single Call of Duty, including this one. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed i'm gonna sit here and i'm gonna just grind the shit out of this game until maybe about seven eight in the morning be stuck with mwr for the next three days and then grind the fuck out of it again starting september 1st to the third or fourth or whatever it is i mean that actually works perfectly because i'm not even gonna be home when this beta ends and then the other beta starts in that little three day period I'm actually gonna be going to niagara falls with the family for a couple days I and mean, i'd rather stay here you guys know i don't like leaving my house so i gotta stack a few videos so let me know what you guys want to see down below that was like the third time i fucking told you guys to comment like i said i guess throw a bunch of World War II content or I can make some other videos. I'm probably not gonna vlog while I'm there. I mean, if you guys want me to, maybe I'll attempt. I'll bring my camera and then not do it because I don't like vlogging at all. But we'll see. Let me know. I'm gonna let you guys go. Grind the shit out of this. Hopefully get some crazy ass footage, get some more clips, and then maybe I could do like a little beta taj at the end of the second weekend. But yeah, I'm rambling on right now. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Adios.